Hey everybody, tonight we are going to be making some unstuffed green peppers. They're sort of like a green pepper casserole. So it's going to be just like stuffed green peppers, except I'm not going to take the time to stuff each one. I'm going to cut them up. So I got me a whole bowl here of green peppers from our garden. So I'm just going to cut the tops off and I'm going to reach in here and get this get these seeds take all these seeds out and then I'm just going to slice them up just like this I'm just going to put them in this microwave safe bowl because I'm going to cook them pre-cook them a little bit in the microwave before I put them in my casserole so I kind of rinsed rinsed them off already but there's still some little seeds on them so I'm going to wash these after I get them all cut up and then I'm going to show y'all what we're going to do for our uh, green pepper casserole here so let me cut these up just like this we're just slicing them little pieces and I'm probably going to do about the equivalent of eight big peppers so I might do most of that bowl all right hang on okay my green peppers there are cut up not quite half of this bowl this is a pretty big bowl now I'm going to take and cover it with plastic wrap saran wrap and I'm going to put this in the microwave for 15 minutes all right, next I got a pound of ground beef and I'm gonna start frying that and chopping it up. I'm gonna get my seasonings ready. All right, next I'm gonna put, um, I got some garden fresh tomatoes here and I had a huge one. So I'm just gonna cut this thing up because I'm gonna put this fresh tomato in there. Just chunking it up. And once my hamburger cooks, I'm going to cook all this juicy tomato right in there with my hamburger. Instead of using uh, like canned tomatoes or I might have to use some tomato paste. I don't know. But we had one big tomato left. So I'm going to utilize it up. Cut the core out here. Just cut all this up. Come back. My hamburger's cooked. So I'm going to drain this grease off. Can in this little bowl here. Then I'm going to put everything back in this, this big pot here to cook it. Let me just drain this off a little bit. Okay, let's pour our ground beef back into our pan. And I'm going to go ahead and dump this whole bowl of tomatoes that I chopped up. Dump them in there and let them start cooking down. Now, while that's going, we're going to start on our spices. I got garlic powder. I'm going to put a teaspoon of garlic powder or somewhere thereabouts. I'm going to put a teaspoon of onion powder. And I'm going to do a teaspoon of Italian seasoning. This is Italian seasoning in this container here. I'm going to do a teaspoon of that. And then I'm going to do a teaspoon of salt and pepper. Now y'all know I've got my little salt and pepper containers here. So I'm going to do a teaspoon of salt. And a teaspoon of pepper. Now we're going to let that cook up here. And then we'll see what else we're going to put in it. Show y'all how it's cooking so far. See the tomatoes have already cooked down some, but we're gonna cook them down and get rid of a lot of that liquid. 
So just keep cooking them on high till the liquid goes away. All right, while well, it's still good and juicy, all the liquid's not gone yet, guess what I'm going to add? Rice that we got from the Chinese restaurant the other day and we didn't use it. So rice is going to go in. Now, if you're doing a, if you're doing low carb, you won't want to write, you won't want to put that rice in. But since we had a little bit, and that's really the only carbs going in this, I'm gonna add that to it. Okay, my peppers are done, so I'm gonna reach in here and just shake some of the water off, and just drop them over here in my casserole dish. going to spread our peppers out. Kind of get a little bit everywhere. And this is our topping. See what our toppings turn out to look like? So we're just going to sprinkle this. Instead of stuffing them peppers, we're going to sprinkle that all in there. Now you can add the cheese to the mixture or you can put it on top. I'm going to put it on top. I think I got some cheddar cheese or something. All right, just layer this out like this. You could just put anything in it you want. If you have zucchini, you could add to it. You could you can add anything you want to it. Okay, now everything we put in here was cooked, so we're just going to add this cheese, and it's so hot, the cheese is going to melt, but we're going to stick it in the oven for about, probably 10-15 minutes. Just let it all mold together, and then it'll be ready to eat. This is something quick and easy, without stuffing each one of them little peppers. All right, I'm going to stick it in the oven. Okay, just pulled it out of the oven. I baked it 15 minutes. Hold it up there and show it to you. And there you have it. I'm not going to cut into it. I'm going to let it sit here and cool off for a minute. But have y'all seen what it was? Oh, yeah, that cheese is nice and crunchy on the top. And you got your peppers on the bottom. Good eating. Talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.